Hello, fellow people of the internet, and basically, I've been listening to a lot of portal music by Harry101 UK, and basically, oh, I said basically like five times, two times actually, I've started to want to make stuff like a science lab. This is why I haven't been making videos in a while, and also, my computer is starting to work on normal render distance, it's still very laggy, but at least now it's playable and won't crash. But, uh, basically I built a lot of redstone thingy-mabobs. Like, right here is a redstone elevator with some useless doors that just lead around it. Basically, you can go up the elevator, and, uh, but you can't go down it. I've tried to make a down elevator, but it doesn't work, so I just made a little fire escape. Uh, don't mind that. That's just some, uh, some pipes. And speaking of pipes, I, this is something I actually stumbled upon in Minecraft. If hoppers are next to each other, they can actually be combined. So, if I throw an item in this hopper, go over to here, it's in the chest. It it doesn't it isn't immediately that it shows up. Just the closer it is, the faster it goes. So basically, if I throw something in this comes out here. Now the problem is most Minecraft houses aren't just flat next to each other. Usually they're up or down hills. So how do you use all of that? Using That's my uh, impression of a drum going But, one second, one second, there we go. Basically, uh, this took a lot of redstone to do, and it usually makes me lag a lot. But basically, droppers can put items into other droppers. So basically, a dropper going to a dropper going to a dropper going to something as simple as a chest. So, say I just throw an item in that little mail thing you might have seen before I opened the iron door. Uh, then you would have noticed that if uh, there's a bunch of hoppers leading to the droppers which will which might be named floppers I don't think anything else rhymes with that but um yeah anything from the hopper would get put into this chest which you can actually see the dropper under the chest if you stand on bed there's just a bunch of music disc music player and then we got the lab again and uh yeah this is some sort of really cool thing I made basically it's a little gambling thing. One second, the chest in here I know is full, so I'm gonna need to take a diamond out. Because I have, like, hoppers leading to the chest. Uh, one second, yada yada, iron doors are stupid. So, uh, yeah. Basically, all you need to do is open the chest, put a diamond in, goes through all that piping you saw in the beginning of the episode, and then you just wait for all three of them to be aligned.
so okay that time means two diamond and an iron if it lands on diamond you get diamond block gold you get two dime two diamonds and um iron you get one diamond and basically it's just like an infinite loop of repeaters and they turn off if you destroy that redstone with a piston and it took a while to make that just thing so yeah gonna get another go see if I can oh it landed on a dirt, m meaning I need to place another diamond. I think it's over. It will flow. I'll just put it on top. So yeah, and then over loading, 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 lagging, lagging. Here we have the chest with. Oh, that's where the diamonds go. Or here we have the chest with all the rewards, diamonds and diamond blocks. So it's basically a lab slash casino. And you may have seen a bunch of other really cool stuff um, under the lab, on first floor that is. And that's because, just one more down there. That is because there's gonna be two parts of this. For some reason, part one being on top of it, and. Yeah. <laughs> and. Yeah, it's very simple lab, so see you part two.